Good morning. Hi, I'm Axel, your testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course, so safety is ensured and that your testing experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important that you understand that some tests may be very dangerous, and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Yes, welcome. Level zero. I can't help you solve any tests. Yay! For great job on your first test. Before we continue on to the next one, I'm required to tell you that we provide quick rest areas for test subjects who may be overwhelmed from their testing experience. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. What's that spinning thing? You might be asking. It's the ecliptic tunneling device. It's required to continue on to the next test. Most smart, so smart. Just keep up with it. Tunnels are really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety rules. Rule one: You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule two: Keep new level. Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Your speed is retained through tunnels. For example, if your pencils happen to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while the other one was on a ball, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed. If you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself on the head from flailing your arms. Brain dead subjects can't test. We've tried it before. Some of the test subjects were having difficulties with this chamber, so I was told to try to explain it as simply as possible. These very dangerous high-powered orange are actually star-crossed lovers. If you push the button, the orange thing will send a very dangerous fiery love letter, and your job is to try to get the love letter to the blue thing. Am I making sense? Yeah, I make sense. Have fun. But be careful. Like I said, very dangerous. Some test subjects have spent a very long time in this room. Sometimes to the point of starvation. But you did it! Some subjects may be alarmed and assume they're shooting fireballs, but... The device is now able to place orange portals as well, which can also be alarming, but you'll get used to it. Most test subjects forget the important safety tips, which have caused accidents and injuries, so let's go over them once again. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metal is Rule 2. Keep your finger off the trigger whenever... Uh, you know what? You remember that, don't you? We don't have to go through it again. All you need to know is to be careful. This, uh, next one is very dangerous. I can't tell you how dangerous, but just watch out for guns. I can't come along with you into the chamber to help you out, so you'll be on your own. I'm really hoping to see you after the test. Good luck.
you're okay. I was worried. 76% of test subjects have been unable to pass through that one. Uh, anyway, if you're hurt, medical equipment is here for you to use. Band-aids and stuff. Just walk through the door when you're ready. When? Ah! What? This isn't part of a test? Grandma, this sounds like- What do I do? What do I do? What do I do?